Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineered Learnings. Engineered Learnings has been created as an effort to help and reach out to all the engineering students, aspirants and professionals out there with the basic understanding and the crux of the topics important for placements, vivas, semesters, competitive examinations and all types of interviews. So let's go to today's topic. Welcome everyone. So today we are going to study about butane injection and uh, reed vapor pressure. RVP stands for reed vapor pressure. So butane injection and reed vapor pressure. So what is uh, butane injection and when and where it is required? To uh, clarify these things, we need to first understand the structure of the gasoline engine. Supposedly, if we draw the piston like this, this is the downstroke and this is the upstroke, and this is the spark ignition, and this is the carburetor or the inlet valve through which the gasoline vapors are being formed. One fine morning, Kashmir, 4 a.m., chilled cold climate. Kashmir, 4 a.m., minus 10 degrees Celsius, chilled cold climate. You go out to see the sunrise. You get into the car, you start your car, the car doesn't start. You get out of the car, try to give it a push and then start the car, it still doesn't start. So what is happening? Like we all know, in a spark ignition engine, gasoline vapors are being produced and the spark is ignited to explode that vapor and the piston goes up. Then again by a crankshaft arrangement, the piston comes down Again it pressurizes, the spark ignites, again it explodes and the piston goes up. So it's an up-down movement of the piston that causes the wheel to rotate. This is the basic mechanism of the spark ignition engine as has already been discussed in the earlier videos uh, of petrol and diesel engines. Now, if this vapor is not formed, if by some means this remain as liquid droplets, gasoline, that is C5 and C6, are known to be easily vaporizable, but at temperature around 20, 25, 30 degrees Celsius. But if the temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius, these C5 and C6 elements, though they are very easily vaporizable, still tend to remain as liquid at such a low temperature. It does not evaporate. So at minus 10 degrees Celsius in Kashmir, the gasoline will not evaporate will not vaporize and this will result in the car not running because no gasoline vapors are injected into the chamber as vapors. They remain as liquids. So to prevent this condition, to allow the working of the engine and to allow the formation of vapor, we need to blend something with C5 and C6 such that the blend even vaporizes or evaporates at a low temperature as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. So any gasoline that is manufactured to be used in Kashmir has to be injected with an additional liquid that easily transforms into vapor. So that type of liquid, we all know that C1 and C2 and C3 are gases primarily, C5, C6 are liquids, C4 is a controversial issue. It can be a liquid or a vapor. It can be a liquid or a vapor. It's a liquid. Well, yes, it's a vapor. That too, yes, it's a 50-50 chance. Now, it can be called, C4 can be called a very volatile liquid. What is its property? Being very, very volatile, it easily vaporizes. It evaporates at very low temperatures. Even when the temperature is low, C4 easily forms vapor. Being in an intermediate state between C5 and C6 that is liquid primarily and C1 to C3 that is vapor primarily. Being an intermediate state C4 is a highly volatile liquid. So you see that 
C4 easily forms vapor even at low temperatures, as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. So, a correct quantity blended with C5 and C6, which will result in a blend of C4, C5 and C6, such that the blend of gasoline will form vapor in minus 10 degrees Celsius. Thus, butane, that is C4, is deliberately injected is deliberately injected into gasoline to be used at cold climates. Now, you may question, and a question often arises, that if I use, the common question that comes in our mind, if I use this blend, that is C4, C5, C6, which readily forms vapor, in any other place other than Kashmir, supposedly we use that in a hot climate in Rajasthan, where the temperature is quite high. So what happens? At low temperatures, it forms vapors. At high temperatures, it will even readily, even more readily form vapors. Means the entire liquid will be uh, converted into vapor and what remains is only the vapor state. So, in an engine in the tank that contains the petrol, that is C5, C6 and now blended with C4, due to this blend, this tends to form vapor, this tends to evaporate leaving no liquid in the tank. The tank completely gets filled with vapor. And then what happens? This pipeline, when it occurs to the carburetor, it occurs as vapor. Maybe some amount of liquid also surviving, not entirely converted into vapor, mostly converted into vapor, thus leading to vapor pockets all around and leading to a two-phase flow or mainly the problem of cavitation or vapor locking occurs vapor locking because this needs to be pumped this needs to be pumped this liquid needs to be pumped to the carburetor now whenever you are using a pump the uh, problem of vapor locking will arise the problem of cavitation will arise if there are a lot of vapors before entering to the pump so we want this liquid to remain as liquid and not be converted to vapor while remaining in tank we want it to be converted to vapor when it's reaching the carburetor when it's reaching the carburetor then we want to enter the engine as vapor but when it is in the tank, if at the ambient temperatures, the vapor pressure, the read vapor pressure is high enough to form vapors, is high enough to form vapors under ambient conditions, then the, in the tank itself, it will be a vapor liquid mixture, which is undesirable. We desire the formation of vapors in the gasoline uh, engine chamber and not in the tank itself. But if we use the C4 blend in Rajasthan, when the, when the ambient temperature is high enough, it is enough to vaporize C4, C5, C6 in the tank itself. And that will lead to vapor locking and cavitation problem in the pumps. That is pumping the liquid. So what decides whether a vapor will be formed or not? The decisive factor, the decisive factor is going to be the read vapor pressure. The more is the read vapor pressure, the higher end is the tendency to form vapors. The higher is the tendency of the liquid to form vapor. The C5 and C6 under cold climates does not have a good read vapor pressure. To increase the read vapor pressure, C4 is deliberately added up. C4 is deliberately mixed in. But this C4, C5, C6 blend cannot be used in Rajasthan because there the temperature is, ambient temperature is already very high. And it readily forms vapor in the tank itself, which is very, very undesirable. But if we don't mix in C4, in C5 and C6 in Kashmir, it will not even run. So, a very important aspect of it is, any gasoline manufacturing industry should be, gasoline manufacturing industry should be close to its local market. That is, a gasoline manufacturer in Rajasthan cannot be used in Kashmir and vice versa, gasoline manufacturer in Kashmir cannot be used in Rajasthan. Because if we use the gasoline manufacturer in Rajasthan which does not have a C4 blend, does not have a butane injection in Kashmir, the car will not start because C5 and C6 will not form vapors. Moreover, if we use the Kashmir manufactured gasoline in Rajasthan, 
it will form, it will, it will lead to over formation of vapors and vapor locking in the entire pipeline, which is very, very undesirable. So one is extra formation of vapor, one is no formation of vapor. So any gasoline that is manufactured in Rajasthan or Haldia petrochemicals to be used at normal ambient conditions should not be butane injected, should not be butane injected. But any uh, gasoline that is manufactured in Shimla, in Kashmir, in Jammu should be, should be injected with C4 in proper quantities to ensure the formation of the vapor of the blend. That's at 4 a.m. minus 10 degrees Celsius. If you use this blend of gasoline, all the gasolines are not same. One contains a higher octane number, one contains a higher read vapor pressure. One contains butane injection, one does not contain butane injection. So it has to be made at a place where it can suffice to its local market, its local uh, unit. That is a Haldia petrochemical gasoline will have to be uh, transferred to Jalukpur, Kolkata uh, and, and, and places close to Haldia. It cannot be used in Kashmir. Neither can you expect a gasoline manufacturing in Kashmir, Jammu or Shimla to be used in Rajasthan or Haldia where the climatic conditions are extremely hot because that would readily form vapors. So this is the concept of read vapor pressure and butane injection when and how it is to be done. It's a very important topic for placement. So if you really liked uh, our work, if you really liked what, you, what, we, what has been talked today, please share our work, like the work, comment, subscribe to our page and hit the bell icon. That's it for today. Thank you.